hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel make pion so in today's video we will start our playlist or video based on torsion so first of all we will understand what is torsion and in this video we will discuss torsional formula which is uh, this one and after that we will solve a numerical problem which is based on torsion so let's start first of all many people confuse what is torsion and what is bending what is difference between torsion and bending so suppose this is a beam and if you apply bending moment like this moment like this if you are pressing at both ends or you are fixing one end and applying load vertically in this direction then it will bend like this okay so this is bending moment but if it is torsion then load will not be applied like this but load will be torque will be applied like this as you can see in uh, bending moment beam bent like this it becomes like this or this but in case of torsion it twists as you can see initially in this beam suppose this is a beam a deliver beam then this was the initial surface then you are applying twisting moment then this this surface is moving in this direction so this is called twist angle theta so if you see in cross section then in case of bending suppose this is a uh, cross section of the beam this beam so in case of bend, be, bending beam load will look like this but in case of torsion it will look like this and here only beam will bend in downward direction but here it will twist initially suppose the point p is here on the beam cross section then it will move here p dash so it will twist okay so if you can read definition also and torsional shearing stress also known as shear stress or torsional stress occurs in a material subjected to torsional or twisting forces it represents the force per unit area acting tangentially to the material's cross section due to the applied torque leading to deformation of failure so in few problems in uh, next videos we will solve uh, some numerical problems which are based on torsion so all of these problems will be based on this formula this formula is called as the general torsional equation okay so let's see what are the terms used in this formula you can see the derivation of this formula in any book any standard book you can see the how how it is derived and uh, let's see it is t upon j is equal to tau upon r is equal to g theta by l so you can first of all you can use these two independently also or these two independently or these two so it is not always necessary that all three will be used you can use like t by j is equal to tau by r or tau by r is equal to g theta by l so depending on the requirement of the question you can use the part of this equation so what are the meaning of these terms used in this equation so let's understand that so first of all t t is the torque or twisting moment in newton per meter so like uh, this was the cross section and suppose this was the beam and this was the torque applied then this is torque and its uh, unit is newton meters then j is polar or second moment of inertia of cross section about shaft axis so about this axis what is the polar moment of area of this cross section circular cross section it will be j polar moment or second moment of inertia okay which is equal for circular cross section it is pi d to the power 4 divided by 32 okay next tau is shear stress when you are applying the uh, torsion here then this outer fibers will be stressed so there will be some shear stress on this surface so the shear stress is tau okay it is in pascals or you can also say in newton per 
meter square okay then r r is the radius of this cross section r this is r and then g is modulus of rigidity in pascals or newton per meter square okay then theta is the angle of twist suppose initially this was at point p and if you twist this then this surface moves here p dash then this angle is theta okay and we have to use in radians suppose it is given that uh, it is twisted by 2 degrees 2 degrees then you cannot write 2 in the equation you have to write 2 into pi by 180 so this is how you convert degree into radian and if it if it is given in radius and you have to find in degrees then you can multiply by in radians what is the value given into 180 upon pi this will be in degree so i hope you know how to convert degrees into radians then l l is the length of shafts l is this length okay and d is the diameter of shaft in meter so the this d is diameter okay this is r so d is equal to 2r just this simple so i hope you understood this formula now let's solve a numerical question which is based on this equation so we have a problem here a solid steel shaft transmits 100 kilowatt so we will note down the values p is equal to 100 kilowatt or we can also write 100 into 10 to the power 3 watt okay at 150 rpm so speed of the shaft is 150 rpm okay determine the suitable diameter of the shaft if it is not uh, to exceed 60 megapascal so we have to find d diameter of the shaft if determine the suitable diameter of the shaft if it is not to exceed 60 megapascal so what is the megapascal it is stress so tau max is 60 into 10 to the power 6 newton per meter square because 1 megapascal is 10 to the power 6 newton per meter square okay then we will see if anything else is given also find the maximum angle of twist so we have to find also theta is equal to what if length l is given as 4 meter and g is 80 gigapascal or 80 into 10 to the power 9 pascal or newton per meter square okay so these are the value given so first of all we know that p power is equal to torque into omega okay so p is equal to t omega so power is here given as 100 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to t torque torque which is not given okay so we will write t into omega is 2 pi n upon 60 as you all know that this is the in rpm so we will convert it, uh, it into second which is because it is given in meter so we'll divide by 60 and 2 pi into frequency this is omega is angular speed okay angular speed of shaft and t is torque and p is power this is very basic formula in mechanical engineering or in fluid mechanics okay so we will find from here torque value of torque because 100 into sorry 100 into 10 to the power 3 into 60 this 60 will come this side is uh, divided by 2 pi n 2 pi into n is 150 this is equal to t this will come this side this will go this side okay so we will find the value of t is equal to 6366 newton meter if you calculate this 
then t will find this value okay so we have already found the value of t so it is given that the maximum torque transmitted exceeds the exceeds the mean by 620 percent in each evolution so this is the mean to, uh, torque then it exceeds 1.2 times 20 percent or is equal to 1.2 times is equal to 1.2 into 6366 six, six. it will be equal to 7639 okay newton meter into 10 kilometer meter okay so we will get it as 7.639 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm sorry this was a newton meter because here it was in newton meter so here also it will be in newton meter because we are just multiplying by 1 by 1.2 nothing else so unit will remain same newton meter if you multiply it by 10 to the power 3 then it will become in newton per mm okay newton mm so now next thing we know from the formula is called as you can see this formula t by j is equal to tau by r t by j is equal to tau by r so for solid circular uh, cross section we know that j is equal to pi by pi by 32 into d to the power 4 as we have written already here okay we have removed that so it is 5 by 32 into d to the power 4 this is the value of polar moment of area of circular cross section then r is equal to r is equal to d by 2 t is also known as we know this value then we can found tau here so tau will be equal to t r by j t r by j from here we can write 7.639 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm into r h value of diameter by 2 so value of diameter was we have to find out it d by 2 upon j is pi by 32 into d to the power 4 ok so from here you will if you will put the value of tau because we will find it in mm because this value is in mm newton mm so we have put this value in newton mm so we are, we will also put value of tau in newton per mm square so, so so that we can find value of d in mm okay so from here tau is 60 as we already noted down tau is equal to 60 to power into 10 to the power 6 newton per meter square or 60 newton per mm square so 60 is equal to 7.639 into 10 to the power 6 into this 2 will cancel with this will become 16 and this d will cancel with this so it will become d cube so it will become pi d cube and this system will go up so if you will calculate you will get value of d from here you take d q here d q here so d q is equal to 7.639 into 10 to the power 6 into 16 divided by pi into 60 because it will become like this okay so we will find the value of dq so from here we can find d is equal to cube root of this value okay 
so from here it will calculate this from your calculator then you will get value is of d is equal to 86.6 mm okay so this is the value of diameter required for carrying out that torque now maximum twisting angle we have to find second part of the question or find out theta so we know that tau is equal to tau divided by r is equal to g theta by l or we can write theta is equal to tau l divided by g r so tau we already know 60 we have put here also 60 newton per mm square into value of l already known value of l was see here value of l was 4 meter if you get in mm then it will become 4 into 1000 which is equal to 4000 divided by value of g is value of g is 80000 into 10 to the power 6 newton per mm square so it will become 80000 that will newton per meter square so if you convert in newton per meter in mm square then it will become divided by 6 which will become 80000 into r value of r is 86.6 divided by 2 so if we will calculate from here then you will find theta is equal to 0 0.06928 so this value is in radians so if we have to write generally in degrees so to find in degrees theta is equal to 0 0.06928 into 180 divided by pi so from here if you will calculate this then you will get 3.97 degrees okay so i hope you understood this problem if you have any doubt then please ask in the comment section and if you like our video then please share and share and subscribe our channel thank you for watching